I decided to test green time finishing on FIFA 23 to show you how you can take your division rivals and foot champs ranks to that next level. To put it to the test though, we are going to battle it out together. One game with time finishing on and one game with time finishing off. The majority of players who are in your average category, 9 to 11 wins in champs or division 5 and below, do not use green time finishing. While as your better players, your higher level players do. Obviously there will be some anomalies, but there is a clear difference. So let's go ahead and put this to the test. First up, we're going to play a game with time finishing off. Kulu is going to get finesse shot off here. It's from range. It hits the woodwork. And I have to think, if that's a green time finish, that goes in, right? The opponent goes 1-0 up with a rebound goal from Rafael Liao. And we do bounce back with Zakaria with that deep cross. A beautiful header, which really time finishing would have made no difference there. The opponent comes straight back at us though and goes 2-1 up. We try that Travella shot from range, which we see in so many times. But Harry Kane, it's just a weak shot. It's a poor shot. And Son now attempts that finesse shot and the goalkeeper just catches with ease. A huge chance for Harry Kane at that back stick where I know if I green time finish that, that is a goal 100%. It would be too powerful for the goalkeeper to save. Chances just keep coming thick and fast, but we cannot find the back of the net. We hit the woodwork, the goalkeeper makes saves and we receive that loss. I must say, I felt some of our chances would have gone in if we were attempting to green time finish. They just all seemed a little bit too weak in those areas. Now, let's go ahead and test green time finishing. Son is going to put us 1-0 up where we attempted the time finish, but it was a white finish, meaning we were too late and it had no impact on that shot. Then CR7 brings the opponent back level with a beautiful, beautiful chip. However, though, this is where time finishing comes in clutch. Banassa with that Travella shot and it flies into the top corner. It's green time and it's absolutely perfection. Then Harry Kane comes through with a successful green time attempt. It's across the body, but to Stegen is equal to it. But then again, though, we see that time finishing come through from Favour. It flies over to Stegen. It was a no look finish and it was a green time finish. Does that go in if we don't green time it? And then you saw in the one game without time finishing, they were weak, these finesse shots. They didn't work. But Kulu here flies that one into the top corner and sends the opponent to rage quit City. So ultimately, time finishing was our winner, as some of you may have expected, me, myself. And there is absolutely no surprise on why that is. Time finishing gives us more power, more accuracy, and a higher chance of scoring. And this is going to be the reason why FIFA pros and top level players keep time finishing on and try to use it in every scenario that they can. To nail this technique, you need to head into your controller settings and make sure that time finishing is turned on. And then you need to understand the basics of time finishing. You press the shoot button, and then as your player is about to strike the ball, you press the shoot button again. If you are way too early, you will get a red timed finish. This is the worst finish that we can get. It's worse than pressing shoot just on its own and nothing else. You will miss the target 99% of the time. Next up is yellow time finishing. Again, this is where you're pressing the shoot button too early. Then next up, you have the perfect time finish, which is green time finishing. This is where you have pressed the shoot button in the perfect window, ultimately giving you that green time finish. And then last up, you have white time finishing. This is where you have pressed that second shoot button too late, meaning it has no impact on the shot. But this is the same as just pressing shoot on its own. Now we know how time finishing works, I would recommend heading into the skill game section of FIFA and heading over to practice scenarios. Here you are going to have real game scenarios and a chance to practice in that environment. You will also see the timing window above your head and this can give you a bit more of an understanding on how the mechanic works. But the secret tip to getting green time finishing right is you don't focus on the player's shooting animation of when they're about to strike the ball. What you focus on is muscle memory. The more times that you attempt this and the more times that you get this right, 
you will just get a feel for when you need to press that second shoot button. Should you need further help though, you can come over and join our coaching service and get one-to-one -one help. A link is in the description for that. And speaking of coaching on FIFA 23, if you want a chance to win a free FIFA 23 coaching session, go and watch this video and follow the instructions there.